Been through the desert on a horse with no name. Felt good to get out of the rain. In the desert, you can't remember your name. Hey, YouTube fam. I am Cody here. We're here at the final evening of the Daniel Robinson search, the 24-year-old geologist that went missing in the Sonora Desert of Buckeye, Arizona. And I just had to show you this beautiful purple mountain majesty in the distance. It's a beautiful country. And look at the other way, the sunset. It's gorgeous. Look at the sky. So, we're here at this creepy well site. So I wanted to like, as like the very last thing we do out here, I wanted to search this well. So I just wanted to do a quick video and let y'all in on what I'm doing. I have this parachute cord rigged up. I got two lights. LEDs, so we're gonna lower it down like this. Check out the LEDs. We'll turn one off, turn the other one off. So it's gonna be like this going down. You dig? Okay, and we're gonna be putting it down in the super creepy well that's straight out of a horror movie. So I was able to remove some boards. You can see down in there. Creepy. Hello. There's a ladder that goes down there. And it's even shadier of a ladder. So, and of course, the wind's going to start blowing right here before dark. So, I'm going to shield this microphone. But what can we take away from this search? So, we gathered some evidence. We got the eyeglass case with the glass in it. Um, we recovered two different people's remains. Um, human remains, but it, uh, not recent, a little older. But uh, hopefully they can match some DNA on that. So, so I'm going to apologize. My allergies are just going haywire right now. Um, all this stuff is blooming and I I didn't I've never had bad allergies in my life but this is the worst my allergies have ever been I just can't stop sneezing so we're gonna take a little break from the desert today this is the last evening we're I gotta go home and spend some time with my daughter I can't wait I need to take a break from all this uh, death and man that uh, sunset is just amazing gotta show you all that look at that look at the clouds you know, these videos never do the sunsets justice out here. <laughs> of course, the wind's going to start blowing. But it's such a beautiful place in contrast to the craziness that goes on out here. Like Daniel's Jeep was wrecked. Right over this hill. I mean, just right over a quarter mile. So we're here at the Shady Well. We're gonna turn these lights on and lower it down and see what we can see. I wish I had a plumber's camera. That's what we need. A plumber's camera, you can run all the way down. It's made to go through like sewer pipes and you can see the roots or whatever's blocking your toilet. That's what we really need. Goodness gracious, at a sunset, huh? I'm going to zoom in on that for you guys at home. Look at that. The good creator made it a beautiful sunset on our last one. But this isn't it. We're going to be back, guys. So, this I just wanted to get a bunch of evidence on this trip. Hopefully add some evidence to the equation on what happened to Daniel Robinson. Did he walk away from the accident? Did he meet nefarious means? Did he meet somebody in the desert that did him wrong? Look at that.
There's Nipsey. Nipsey, say hi. The dogs are whooped. I'm whooped. We've been going hard in this desert, y'all. We probably hike 10 miles a day at least. But we've done a radar search of the entire area around Daniel's vehicle. I mean, we went, we did a circle all the way around. And we went out like five miles all the way around. And I'm pretty confident to say, you know, there would be some sort of bone scatter more than, than we found. Uh, there's a small possibility that that um, tibia that we found could be something, but I'm just not sure because of how old the bone is. But I do believe it's a human bone. I just don't know how old it is. So maybe we can bring closure to somebody else. You know, they've already found two other people's remains, so maybe it even belongs to them. So, I just wanted to do a, like a final episode of Buckeye for the time being. And man, this sunset just keeps getting better and better, y'all. It's hard to leave when it's this pretty. Look at that. Creator sure did a good job, didn't he? But we're going to go home back to Colorado. I got to hustle up some more money. You know, this is all volunteer work, so I, I'm a carpenter, so I got to go back and I'll do a few jobs and hustle up some money and get back on the road to doing these searches. I want to revisit Trevor Bazil. Um, I saw some stuff on the mount, one of the mountainsides when we let, had to leave because of the blizzard. So I want to get back there, check that case out. Goodness gracious at this sunset. And I would like to get back here to help David Robinson on some of these future big searches. And I suggest you do the same. They're holding the candlelight visual for him. And, um... So hopefully they'll get a good turnout for that. But it's good that we're leaving today because tomorrow there's a 40-50% chance of rain. And I don't know if you know, but you do not want to be caught in the desert after a rain or dirt before a big rain. Watch out, Nip. Stay away from the well. My biggest fear one of the dogs fall in the well. Jesus. With that. But... What's questionable about this well is this tire's got a big chunk taken out of it, you see? So I think someone put a tire there and they moved it by taking a big chunk out of it. See the rubber chunk that was ripped out of it by like the bucket of a excavator is what I think. Grabbed it and ripped that part off and moved it out of the way at some point. So who did that? Did they do that to do something, drop something down in there? You know? This is like an old Wild West style well, man. Super dangerous. Cow could stumble off in it. So we're going to go ahead and run this down. I think... Man, goodness. It's hard to stop filming that sunset. It's mesmerizing. But I was going to give you all a little video of me lowering the lights down in the well. Unfortunately, we'll be going back to Colorado just in time for, guess what, a snowstorm. Isn't that exciting? I'm not looking forward to that, but I get to spend time with my daughter, and that's all that matters, right? In this world. So, I'll take a look at that. All right. So, I'm giving you live footage. See how this works. Wait till dark because it makes it a lot easier to see what's in the bottom of the well. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
creepy as can be down there. I dropped a rock down in there. And it hit water. So there's water down at the bottom for sure. Okay, Nick Chris. Yeah, I can see the water shining way down there. See pipes going down, well pipes to draw the water up. Lots of cobwebs. Ladders going down, 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 but it's the creepiest looking ladder, y'all. I would not find that ladder. focus at the end of the rope, guys. Mosquitoes are getting us. Well, I can see a bunch of wood down there. I can see the pipes going to the water. There's a ton of wood, just wood planks and stuff someone dropped down in there.
mosquitoes are getting me. Well, I don't see anything that's... That looks too nefarious. I just see a bunch of wood slack. That's not saying there's something. There's water down there for sure. And wood in the water. at the water's edge. Well, I'm just seeing reflection and wood. see anything down there guys definitely no it doesn't look like human remains down there oh I was hoping that would it's the last hoorah this trip anyway it's all right we'll be back like I say it's not over yet just till the next search so that's a deep well y'all say it's probably like a hundred foot deep but that's the rigging I used it's like double LED lights so that's gonna be it Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and that notification bell down at the bottom. I hope the wind wasn't too wicked. I know it's been blowing, so I apologize. Hope you guys have a good evening.